Welcome back team. I love me, me, me. So day four of Vlogmas 2017. Stay tuned for the question of the day. All right, team. I love me, me, me. Again, welcome back. So today's question of the day of Vlogmas 2017 Day number four is, has social media made a positive or negative effect on dating and relationships? So to be quite frank, I will actually say that it's made a positive and a negative effect on relationships and dating. So I'm gonna have to say both. And here's the reason why. So some of the positives that I'm gonna give you are, number one, it has actually opened up a wide array of people that we can now meet that we would have never met before because back in the day a lot of people met and chose and married their wives and or husbands in the neighborhoods that they lived in or even in their apartment buildings or maybe they were thinking about okay i need to just find somebody in order to help get this farmland together so social media has actually opened up a wide world literally the world to us and um of course uh we, we can find anybody through any means strike up a conversation get in there dm any kind of way and strike up a conversation y'all going back and forth and next thing you know it you know what they're intriguing me i want to meet them you guys meet possibly fall in love and you know whatever it kind of goes into number one this thing is that we can actually talk to anybody that we want to we can meet anybody that we want to um as long as they're reciprocating right so you know you don't you don't want to turn into a stalker and then basically putting your love on somebody or your attention and attraction on somebody that doesn't want that so um we can talk to anybody we can pretty much meet anybody with it's nothing but a plane ride you know or a car drive uh, to meet different people that we would have never met before. So honestly, I think that social media in that aspect has um, positive effects on us because we can chat with anybody. We can meet with anybody. It's a plane ride. It's a car drive, right? So those things are not stopping us any longer. The third and final one for the positives is that now we actually we don't have to leave our homes to potentially chat with and or see our potential people because now we have FaceTime, we have Skype, and we have all of these other apps where we can talk to and or see each other while we're while I'm sitting in my home and you sitting in your home. Right. So it just opens up another door for us to be able to socialize and talk and not feel like we are lonely. Right. So that is the third and positive, the third and final positive thing that I will say about social media and how it relates to dating and relationships. Now, there are some negatives, though, that social media um, have had on dating and or relationships. Number one, it actually makes people it makes people who are not happy. It makes it easier for them to have these online personas when they are in relationships. Um, they could have these online person personas as if they were single and out starting to mingle. So at home, they have their home life and then whatever they want to experience or whatever they're lacking at home, now they're trying to get it out there. So that's a downfall because um, because there are so many people and in so many circles. You not you don't necessarily know everybody that your spouse knows and vice versa. And because of that, you being on the internet, it can just open up a door for the cheaters, pretty much. It can just open up the door for the cheaters to do what they want to do and be even more secretive. The second negative that I have for social media and how it plays a role in our relationships and dating is that it actually has made us lazy. It is. It has made us very lazy where um, specifically men, you don't feel like you have to put in that much time, effort or energy when it comes to actually trying to court and or meet the woman. You could have an emotional attachment to somebody that you have never met. You can constantly go back and forth with that person. Um, in the hopes, right? Because one day they're going to ask to meet me. One day they're going to ask to meet me. Meanwhile, you're putting all your time, energy, and effort in and building an emotional connection with the person. And um, can this be true? It can be true. Yes, it can happen. Those things do happen. But um, it happens on a really minuscule scale, to be honest, because usually that person is kind of using you. And it plays along into the lazy portion of it because while you guys are texting back and forth, 
the other person on the other end could be doing a multitude of different things. They actually could be in the room with their wife or girlfriend or fiance, right? Or, um, you know, women do this too. I always use the men to do the wrong thing because I'm a woman, right? So I just automatically spit out those things. But I do know, and I want you ladies to understand, and of course the gentlemen to understand, that I know that both sexes play a part in the cheating game. So it's not just one sex, right? I just want to put that disclaimer out there, even though I usually use my examples for men. We know that both of both 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 sides of the spectrum actually cheat. So that's the second thing. It makes us super lazy and um, you never put the real time and energy into it. Number three, it's actually made us a bit narcissistic. Yes, it has made our society a bit narcissistic in the fact that we feel that we need to post every single detail of our lives online. And a lot of us not realizing this stuff don't go away. You could think that you deleted it, but it is in cyberspace somewhere. And at some point in time, that very information, that very video, that very post that you want to go away will be there haunting you, especially if you decide to go into some type of political venue or political aspect or, you know, the governor or even the president someday. Somebody somewhere is going to be able to pull up that nasty picture that you didn't put online that you didn't think nobody was ever find. And now you got to explain yourself or uh, just just um, come out of the race because they're not looking at you're a changed person. They are only looking at, well, the Y'all know how they did Clinton and, and, and about our children. They will dig stuff up on you. They will not let stuff, stuff slide. So it has given us every opportunity to just feel narcissistic about ourselves and just say and do whatever we want to do. Not thinking that stuff can come back and haunt you one day. The next thing that I feel as far as a negative is that it has taken away some of the human factor that we have. And what I mean by that is because, so say for instance, like um, apps like Tinder, where you are just looking at a person's face, so you only see the physical aspect of them. If you're attracted or not, you can swipe, swipe right or swipe left, right? So it kind of takes away some of the human factor with these social media devices and um, within your dating and your relationships. I don't think that I'll actually say is that it has given us way too many options and I think that the options are overload for most people where at the first sign of trouble we out the door. We don't give that person an opportunity to, to explain anything. We don't like what they have done and guess what we gone never to be seen again. All of us have done the ghosting thing. Right? I don't like what you said that day. So I'm not giving you a, a chance to explain what you meant by that. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the way it actually came out of your mouth. And because we're not giving people a chance, right, it's actually decreasing. It's actually working against us because we have so many options. And we're talking to so many people at, at one time. When you put all of your time, energy, and effort here, 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 you're not giving any one of those people 100% of you. And I know I am in the minority when I say this because other um, relationship people are going to tell you to date, 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 date. I am saying date until you are exclusive with that person. Now, if you're trying to be um, in serious dating relationships with multiple people, it's not going to work out. It's not. You are going to play yourself in the end. And I actually had a client to do this very thing. He was trying to date two women at one time, right? Well, of course, we women, we're not stupid. When you fall, basically when your behavior changes, we know something is going on. So what, what he actually did was he fell off the face of the earth for a weekend when they used to talk all the time. And of course, he was with the other girl. He never even called, text, responded, nothing. And then he wondered why he actually lost and he actually lost both of them so putting your time energy and effort into too many things and he he was talking to more people than those two but those were the primary those were the primary women and he still lost them both he was doing too much and I actually of course i tried to tell him he was doing too much but what do i know can i just say how i am feeling these <laughs> i'm feeling these reindeer ears okay <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, if you like this video, definitely give me thumbs up. Share it with all of the people that you know need to hear this message. And of course, if you have a question, look at all of my information down in the description box below and contact me one of those ways. Don't forget this playlist will be in the description box below for each and every one of these days in December of 2017. Depending on when you're watching this video, it doesn't matter. Just look at the playlist. There will be 31 videos at the end of it. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.